you guys haven't seen the Z in a very long time, but there's good reason for that. Like I've been saying, this is by far our busiest year yet, and it's only getting busier. Now, the Z has been gone for so long because it's been hiding away at Sabin Carbon. Welcome to the video, everybody. Really quickly before we hop into it, guess what? We got matching legend suits, the whole thing. Look at me. <laughs> no, seriously. We have a brand new Legends collection drop in today. And before we get started, I wanted to run through everything that we have coming on the new drop. So let's take a look. What you guys probably don't know is, I sit down with a graphic designer to design all of these designs. And for this one, I wanted to bring a little bit of the style that I see when I go to Japan and kind of like the culture that I love about Japan and throw it into this. So number one, we of course have the Japanese culture inspired dragon, the Japanese wave. We've got the yin and yang for balance. And looking down here, we have do more, which is something that I talk about all the time. And we designed this with the Japanese culture that I love in mind and wanted to bring it to you guys in a whole new design. So we have brand new t-shirts, as you guys can see what I'm rocking right now. Probably the most exciting thing that I'm excited for and a lot of questions I got were the shorts. These shorts are badass. They're fire. <laughs> you like that one? That was good, right? Look at this shelf though. Hold on, I can put a drink there. Yeah, it's a dut butt. <laughs> <laughs> we so should patent that, the dut butt. <laughs> God, okay, listen. I got, listen. we got <laughs> cool legends hits on here. These are nice. These are as close as you can get to Lululemon. Those are my favorite shorts to lift in. I wanted to do these after these. Look at my thighs in these. <laughs> Question I get asked a bunch, what size am I? I usually wear a size 32 in my waist, but these are a size medium in our shorts. So go based off that. They're true to size. I like my shorts a little bit shorter. Like some short shorts. But uh, yeah, size medium. These are fantastic. Whether you're lifting in the gym, working on the cars, or you're gonna hop in the pool. These are amazing. Moving on, speaking of hopping in the pool, look what else we got. Look at this guy. Something we haven't done in a very long time. <laughs> we difficulty. have towels, beach towels. These are absolutely sick. We couldn't leave these out. We have hoodies, you guys' favorite, with the amazing Japanese design right there. Sleeve hit and the awesome front hit right here. All of this stuff is live right now. You can get it the first link down in the description box below. Help support the channel, help support us. Before you get into the video, check out the first link in the description. And I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Let's hop into it. It's been tucked away there because they've been working on a secret project because I guess I should just say this now. We have four cars going to SEMA. You guys already know about the WRX and I guess now you guys know the Z is now going. Like I said, it's been tucked away at Sabin Carbon because they've been working on a secret project. This is going to be the first Z in the entire world with the entire, and I'm talking entire Sabin Carbon kit. Now it's on the lift so we can't really give you guys a, a great look, but yesterday Noah and I headed over to Sabin to go pick up this car and pick up all the parts. Now it was hiding over there because they actually fitted the Z with their brand new full carbon hatch, carbon wing. But if you guys think this is cool, wait till you just see this. And full carbon roof. This Z is fitted out with every single bit of carbon that Sabin could possibly make. So this is the first Z ever to have that along with all of their other carbon bits. Now for today, for you guys, I wanted to go ahead and outfit this car with every other bit that Sabin makes. So we're gonna have brand new front lip. We have the rear diffuser, which Tim is unboxing right here. We're gonna have side skirts. And of course, last but not least, we have the beautiful hood, which I honestly don't even know what this looks like yet but here's one of the side skirts actually. So uh, we're gonna save the hood for last because I think this is gonna, ooh, I can actually feel it's vented. It has vents, yeah, I can feel vents right here. This is definitely gonna be the coolest part. We have a portion of the rear diffuser right here. So all of this stuff is beautiful Sabin carbon fiber. It's gonna be every piece, first Z in the entire world with it, which is really cool. And best of all, you guys will actually be able to come to SEMA and see this car displayed at the Sabin Carbon booth. Now that's freaking crazy. If you guys go back in my channel to when I very first started, you can see some of the earliest videos is uh, actually Tim and I right here installing Sabin Carbon hoods on the Civic and on sure, WX, yeah, the WX, which is still on. Yeah, it's still there. It's still on the car actually. It's just now, now it's painted, which is really cool because back then, like getting a carbon hood was something that I worked really, really hard for, and you know, was one of my favorite modifications on both my Civic and my WX. And now to be actually working with Sabin on developing new parts for the Z and actually being at at their booth for SEMA, that's really freaking sick. So, 
It's a huge like milestone, something that I think younger me would have been very proud of. So that's super cool. Anyways, we're just gonna hop right in and get started installing all of this stuff. So like I said, we have side skirts, we have front lip, we have diffuser, and then the hood. I think we're gonna knock out the side skirts first. So let's get started and have some fun. I forgot how sick our engine bay is. I haven't popped this thing since, since the last year. <laughs> this car actually went to SEMA last year with Rays and we did a bunch of AMS stuff in this car. I completely forgot this car has 500 horsepower. That's pretty insane. We did all the AMS goodies, intakes, uh, intercoolers. I mean, the whole shebang. The whole there. every, yeah, it's really, really sick. All right, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and knock off this front bumper and get started with the front lip. Guys, take a look at the front bumper. I've always thought that this really needs a front lip. And one thing that this has that kind of like guards, I guess, the underside of the car is this like plastic or rubber little lip thing. This has to get removed because that lip slides within these grooves and actually has really cool. I forgot to tell you guys this at the beginning of the video, but if you look at the front lip, it kind of has some ducting. And then if you guys look down here, Sabin and Z1 Concepts have worked together to make actual brake ducts. So these are carbon fiber brake ducts that will shoot air directly to your rotors. So it's like a functioning two piece. The lip will feed air to these and these will feed air to your brakes. So that's pretty rad. So step two out of this is removing this little plastic lip thing on the front bumper and then we can mock up the front lip. Boom, trash. Now we can test with the new lip. Dude, this thing is juicy. How sick is this, man? Well, I'm guessing like this is for the brake duct or something, I don't know, that's crazy. Whoa, and it fits super nice. Look how flush that is. That's super rad. Okay, now we got a bunch of hardware. And I believe this actually just mounts to the OEM holes that you use anyways, which is pretty freaking sick. So let's go ahead and mount this guy up and I think we'll be good and set. That's pretty freaking gnarly, man. It's so flush and perfect. It is. It fits really nice, I mean, which is very unlike carbon and fiberglass pieces. A lot of the times you have to make them fit and make them work. This actually fits really snug and nice. That's pretty gnarly. Today's special guest. Oh. I'm your favorite, huh? Look at that. I am Sparko's favorite. This whole video is just Tim on the floor. <laughs> Every clip is going to be on the floor. I am putting this up. I'm going to pre-mark the holes, probably drill them while it's just free floating. We're going to undo these bolts in here, just fold the piece down and then feed the nuts and bolts through. So it's, it's coming, it fits really good. I just taped it up there and it looks really good. Like you were saying about the front lip, it, it fits real snug. Is it gnarly or is it gnarly? <laughs> oh my god. That is insane. That is super, super aggressive. 
think we're gonna need like a splitter or something to like protect this. Dang, that's gonna change the whole front end of the car, dude. How's she look? It is meaty. Yeah? Oh yeah. Luckily, it's extremely easy to take this bumper on and off of. With a lot of the newer cars, they make it overly complicated to install this stuff, but. Kind of mock her up. <laughs> That's insane. Dude, I, I'm kind of worried. We might have to raise the car a little bit. <laughs> Holy, dude, that just adds like so much extra flair. And it, come over, look at this. Look, look. If you look right down here, this vent goes directly, you probably can't see it, goes directly to the carbon vent leading air to the brakes, like fits spot on. So with that, I'm gonna let Sabin do their, do their thing. They actually have another piece that connects to the rotor and um, actual tubing that will go from that to the piece that they have on the rotor to like actually deflect air to the actual brake. So that's cool. But uh, this is awesome. That was super easy install. It just utilizes um, OEM mounting holes. There are a couple holes that you have to drill, but it bolts right on and fits perfectly. Step one, complete. That's awesome. Was that first try? First try. Come look at this, Dustin. Like a glove, isn't that what they say? <laughs> Damn, this looks cool. Look at it from the front. You have... Oh, I, I haven't even really looked at the front. Now, we, yeah, I know. Now we have the front lip and the side skirt. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's sick. Front lip, side skirts. Let's go ahead and move on to the rear diffuser. Moving on to the rear diffuser. Now, full disclosure, if you guys remember, this car was at SEMA last year, like I said, with rigs. And uh, we did the full MAP exhaust system. Now, this was a prototype exhaust, so this wasn't really meant to be on the car for this long. We are getting a new exhaust before SEMA this year, but the exhaust actually sits outward a little bit too much. So when installing our carbon rear diffuser, this exhaust, if you look, actually hits right where the, right where the rear diffuser is. We're not gonna be installing these side portions today. We're gonna leave this portion to save on. I can mock it up for you guys and show it to you, but I won't be installing it simply just because I don't want the exhaust to be sitting right on it. So what we're gonna do is leave this to them. They're also gonna be swapping out our exhaust um, at their shop. And there's a couple other things that we'll be revealing to you guys at SEMA that's gonna be kind of a surprise. So this will just be kind of one of those portions. But what we can do is the center Center portion of the diffuser, which actually looks super dope and fits right on. This is gonna be super easy. There's just two clips down here that hold this on, as well as some double sided tape that we'll do up here. But honestly, the rear diffuser looks awesome just with this middle portion. Um, but for today, that's all we're gonna do. But with these, it makes it look really aggressive. So I'll go ahead and mock this up for you guys so you can see what it looks like. And then we'll actually install the center portion. So once you get the bolt to hold that up like that, let's see from here. Yeah, what's the look with the side skirt? Does it all flow? Like, I it feel like it flows, flows really nice. It flows nice. really good. I mean, from back here, that just looks ridiculous. Nuts. It's huge. That is gonna look crazy. When this car's on the ground, the way this thing is gonna look, it's super dope. Okay, we'll leave this off for now and do the rear center portion and we can move on to the hood. Well, I think it's safe to say the entire look of the Z has completely transformed. So last thing that you guys saw would be the 
center diffuser portion right here, which just gonna reiterate is not complete, even though I do think it looks fantastic, even with only this centerpiece, because like the rear bumper stock diffuser, whatever you wanna call it, is still pretty aggressive. So with, with just the center carbon portion, it actually still looks really fantastic. But I mean, it just flows with the carbon duct bill, the carbon deck lid, it's really sick. Moving on to the side skirts, everything just has a lower, like it, it kind of gives me like need for speed vibes, you know? Like uh, the lip kit adds so much to the car. Super sick, and then of course the front end is probably the most aggressive and the coolest part of the car. It is insane. So last but not least, the finishing touch is gonna be the is gonna be the hood, which I think is gonna be the coolest part of the car. I mean, the biggest change on the car I think is gonna come from the hood. So we're gonna unbox this, put this thing back onto the ground, and let's get it installed. Sander, I'm so excited. This thing's gonna look so different actually sitting on the ground and just like lower profile, if you guys know what I mean. Lip kits, body kits, I mean, it just transforms and makes the car into what you really want it, you know? Look how aggressive the front lip is too. Definitely may, might need a splitter for that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it looks so cool. That looks insane. Barely. Barely. Oh, dude. Holy moly. It's like a whole different car. Just the lift it, dude. I mean, the front end, this is exactly what it needed. And it's like just aggressive enough. That's so cool. It looks mean, it has some functionality to it. It's nice and carbon and flashy, but not but not too much, you know? Let's, let's lower this real fast. Dude. It looks like a toy. It looks completely different. Oh, dude, this, it is ultra vintage. Look at that. That's a big vent. What does it look like though? I wonder if it's over the um, intercooler. Oh, it's good. Is it good? It's it's really <laughs> good. Holy moly, dude. Carbon. That, that is beautiful. Holy insane again it just gives it a completely new look that is freaking sick dude Doesn't line up, first try. Get it? It sits right on top of our AMS intakes. Holy shit. We got to, we have to move it this way. So the hood has to be shifted this way. We're gonna do some adjusting, figure some things out, and we'll come back when this is fitting correctly. Really for a second, take in how good it is. From the lift kit, to if you come look at the hood, it fits fantastic. Yes, there's adjustments that you can do from your actual latches, but it fits phenomenally. But the coolest part, one of the coolest parts are the vents. I mean, you can directly see down into the AMS intakes right here, releasing heat. Then we have the boxed intakes from the hood moving up to the entire full wheel carbon hood. Get in, get in here, get in here. That's good. Listen to that. That's good. I mean, it's just, it's nice, it's very good. And then you move back and you have the carbon deck lid. How insane is this? To the beautiful duck bill, tail, whatever you want to call it, rear wing spoiler. It's all awesome. And I, I mean, 
they did a great job, you know, bringing homage to the old 280Z or 240Z. I mean, if you look at our Z, it's literally the same exact wing in the back, and it just so much similarity, so clean, so simple. So like I said, if you guys wanna come see this thing at SEMA, we're gonna be displaying it. We'll have a new wheel set up, a couple little bits that are gonna be unique to our car that Saban will do uh, when we bring the car back to them. But this is the start, and I am so excited to see the actual final finished product. But damn, this is really good. Mission successful. I'm stoked, Z is loaded. Next time you guys see this, it'll look very different, but I'm stoked. I think that's where we're gonna end today's video. Hope you guys are as stoked about this car as we are. Um, it's gonna change and like I said, let us know if you guys wanna see more stuff with this car. Should we do like a, like a wide body on it? Like what else should we do with it? Let us know. Because if not, we're gonna sell it and maybe do something new. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, leave us a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys for the next one. Peace out.